Hello everyone, I thought today it would be fun if I showed you guys all of the recent books I have been purchasing and got sent. I am currently now on a book buying ban, I've spent so much money on books recently, it's crazy. I'm going to be on a book buying ban until let's just say November around my birthday and the only books I'm allowed to buy now are for my book club and that is it. But let's see if I actually stick to this book buying ban because I've been known to always break my book buying bans when a new release comes out or I see so many people talking about a specific book but my TBR is so long at the moment. I think it's like 50 something books but that's fine. <laughs> so let's get into it. So I ended up buying the entire Magnolia Park series and I haven't even read the first book. I'm trusting everyone that it's good. Everyone says that it's like a Gossip Girl kind of vibe for all of these books and it's really toxic and it makes me really intrigued to read it because there is so much hype around it so i just decided why not just buy the entire series it must be good because everyone's loving it this is my issue i don't read the first book i just go out and buy the entire series i also wanted to buy the entire series because i heard that they're doing cover changes i don't like the new covers but then after buying the entire series as well turns out they're also keeping the original covers so i don't know what happened there but these are the covers they're so pretty, honestly. They're like giving me like indie cover designs. I don't know if you guys have seen the new ones, but they've got like human legs on it and stuff. And I'm not really a fan of that. I really like these covers. So eventually I'll get to these books. I just don't know when. They're pretty big books actually too. But I am really excited to start this series. I might do a video on it. I'm not really sure yet. The next couple books that I bought were actually in France at Shakespeare and Company when I went to Europe. I bought Yellow Face because everyone and their dog has read this and it's apparently really, really good. I have no idea what it's about, but I've just seen it everywhere. And it's really cute because it's got the Shakespeare and Company logo stamp thingy in the front cover, which is really nice. It's a really nice keepsake, actually. Then also from there as well, I got Death in Her Hands, which also too has... Shakespeare and Company stamp. Excited to read this one. I haven't seen too much hype on this, but I thought the cover was really pretty and this author is pretty known for her books, so I was like, let's buy it. And then I also got Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte from there as well. Again, cute little stamp. I haven't read this classic yet, so I was like, I might as well grab it because I do really want to read this. Slowly and slowly, I will make my way through all the classics. It's just, I have to be in a specific mind space and mood to read this type of writing style, but eventually I'll get to it. I don't know if anyone's seen those T2 boxes that Penguin Books is doing a collab with. I'll put like a photo here of it. I, of course, saw it and succumbed to the hype and went and bought it. And I got the sci-fi one. I think that's the box that it is, but it's a green box. And I got Dracula. Look, look how pretty this is. This book is so stunning. So I got this. Eventually, again, another classic I will read. I have to be in a specific mood to read it, but I do want to read this. How beautiful is this edition, though? I'm so happy I got them. I kind of want to buy them all now, but I have to remember, I'm on a book by men. I then got two books sent to me by HarperCollins. One is Orphea and Eurydiceus. I think that's how you say the title. Look how beautiful. I think this is a Greek mythology retelling. I haven't read it yet. When I read the back, it kind of gave me the same vibes as the Song of Achilles, which is if you know, is my favourite book of all time. So I definitely want to pick this one up in the near future, but my TBR pile is ridiculously long at the moment. HarperCollins also sent me Tessa Bailey's new book release, which is unfortunately yours. Cartoon cover, which I'm not really a fan of, but I read this one. It was short, it was cute. If you're a romance reader, you'll definitely like this. Out of all the books I've read of hers, this one was like, alright, it's just a cute one copy type of style book. Next book, my friend actually gave it to me because she accidentally ordered two copies of it. It is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. Look at the chrome shimmer thing on this cover. This book has been everywhere and I still haven't read it, but I promise I will eventually get to it. I have no idea what it's about, but I've heard it's good and I'm intrigued, so of course I have to add it to the TBR. This book is actually one of my recent purchases. It is The Housemaid. This is like a mystery and a thriller. I have seen this everywhere, everywhere. Everyone is like reading this series at the moment. I'm kind of saving it for next month in October because I kind of want to read like mystery and thrillers in that month just in time for Halloween to give that spooky vibe. So I'm going to read this next month and I'm probably going to read like a whole bunch of mystery and thrillers next month. So 
hopefully I can get through that section of my TBR. I then ended up going on a really, really big fantasy kick. I'm kind of in my fantasy era right now after finishing Akata. All I want to read is fantasy and obviously complete the Sarah J Mass universe. I'm currently reading the Throne of Glass series, loving it so far. I just can't wait to finish it all so then I can be like in the know because I have so much FOMO when I see people talk about like all her books and like wanting to be part of that community. It just is so exciting. So can't wait to be finished with that. So of course, in preparation of that, once I finish Throne of Glass, I'm going to start Crescent City. These books are big books. I, of course, bought both of them without reading the first one. Typical. And I got the new covers because I was not really a fan of the other covers. So I got House of Earth and Blood, which is the first book of the Crescent City series. Look how big it is. I've heard there's a lot of world building in the first half of this book, so we shall see. And then the second book, which is House of Sky and Breath. I have heard that this ends on a really big cliffhanger and I kind of wanted to read these last on the end of the year, ready for Crescent City 3 to come out in January so that I don't need to be left on a really big cliffhanger. So I'm trying to time it. In that regard. I then ended up buying the first book in the Shadow Me series. I didn't buy the entire series to be honest but there was like 11 books in the series isn't there or something like that. I will eventually get to this series. I don't know when. I think I'm gonna need a little break from reading so many series lately because I'm trying to finish the SJM universe first and then maybe next year I will start the Shadow Me series. Heard only really good things. I don't know who Aaron Warner is but I want to know and I have FOMO again of who is he and why does everybody love him? I want to know. I'll get to this eventually. I then bought the Nightborn series. I'm not sure if this is going to be just a duet or if they're going to make a third book or not. I'm not really sure or heard much about this series, but everyone says to read it if you like fantasy. Apparently the writing is really good. Again, I bought both of them. I cannot just buy one book. I have to buy the entire set. Apparently this is like vampire fantasy, which I've never read. So we'll see if I enjoy that or not. I then, of course, bought Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Everyone and their dog has read this. I have also done a reading vlog on this. Five out of five stars. Loved it. Go watch that if you haven't already. I ended up buying this book because two of my friends were like, you need to read this. You need to read this. This is a really good series. I bought Daughter of No Worlds. The only reason why I didn't buy the rest of this series is because I found this at Dimmix and they didn't have the rest of the series. So I was like, okay, I'll just grab this one. But no idea what it's about, but apparently really, really good. And it's the same author, the Nightborn duet series that I just picked up before. So I've heard her writing is really good. So we shall see. And the last book that I ended up buying this month is Divine Rivals. Of course, everyone is reading it this month in the month of September, I swear, because they just re-released it. And it is also my book club pick of the month, so of course I was allowed to buy it. So I'm interested to see where this is. It's fantasy, but I don't really know much more about it. I know there's like a magical typewriter or something, but we shall see. So that is basically all of the books that I recently purchased or was given. As you can see, I obviously have a large stack to get through, and that's just not the books on my TBR. Maybe I'll do another video showing you guys my physical TBR because it's ridiculous. I need to get through it. I really do. Like the other day I decided to randomly start new books on my Kindle when I've got all these physical books on my shelf. Make it make sense. But I'll get there eventually. That's going to be my goal the rest of the year just to try and finish everything on my physical TBR and then the start of next year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!